Good morning friends, welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. In today's video, we are going to see what is hash code and equals method in Java. This is a very important topic because the next topic which I wanted to cover is how hash map is working in Java. So to understand how hash map is working in Java, we have to first understand what is this hash code and equals method provided in the object class. So before we go and see what is hash code and equals method, let me tell you what is hash code in Java. So a hash code is an integer value that is associated with each object in Java. Suppose we have a student class and we are creating two objects of that class, object one and object two. A hash code will be associated with this object one and the object two. Now, why it is important that we should overwrite the hash code and equals method of the object class. To understand that scenario, just consider that we have a student class and we have a data field like name and roll number in that class. Now, if I am creating two object, object one and object two of that class, and the content of those two data fields are same, my intention will be like whenever I'm trying to compare these two objects, object one and object two, I should get the value as a true because my content is equals right but what will happen if you don't override the hash code and equals method of the object class so just consider this scenario now now if you're comparing this object one and object two what will happen is like it is not going to compare or it is not going to compare this value of name and roll number of object one to the value of name and roll number of the object two. So what it is going to compare is the memory addresses of these two objects. So whenever we create an object, an object will get created in the heap memories and each object will have some memory references, right? So suppose this object memory reference is 2000 and this memory object reference is 3000. It is going to compare this 2000 with the 3000 and saying that this object is not equal. So to demonstrate this, let's go to the code and see how these things are working. Now for the sake of the time, I have already written these two classes and I have a student class which has two fields, string uh, name and int roll number. And now just consider on this, in this student class, I have not overridden the has code and equals method of the object class. Now, if I have a has code and equals uh, for demonstration, I've created this class. Now you can see I am creating two objects, object one and object two of this student class, right? And I'm setting the same value in these two objects. Now, whenever I'm trying to compare these two objects, object one and object two, using the object class equals method, what do you think it is going to return me? It is going to return me true or false. As per our convention, if I am saying that my content is same, it should return me true. Let's see what will happen if I'm going to run this code. So now you can see if I'm not overriding the object, if I'm not overriding the equals and the has code of the object class, it is going to return me as a false. So it is saying this object one and object two is not same because we have not overridden the equals method of the object class. So let's see how it is going to compare first by default implementation of this equals class. So if you're going and see, you can see it is just comparing by these two, this operator. It is not going and comparing each and every field of that objects. So what we can do to overcome this problem, we can go into the student class and override these two has code and equals method. To override, we can simply uh, go and generate this using this equals and has code method. So when I'm going and generating, you can see I can simply select those two fields which I'm trying to compare, right? So it's name and roll number I can compare. And here I'm just gen generating. So now you can see it. I have generated these equals and has code method of the object class. Now, now what you can see here, just, just see here what we're doing now. We are comparing the roll number of the student class and also we are comparing the name of the student class, right? So now we are comparing those two data members of that student class. And now if we're going to run this has code and equals method, 
you can see it, it is going to return me true. Why? Because we have overwritten that equals method and now you can see because the contents are same, we are going to get the intended value of true because the object's content is true. Also you can see I am printing the hash code number of those two objects and because I have written this hash code method also, so here also it is giving me the same number. So these two are very important point to understand how hash code works and how it affects the hash map implementation in Java. So this is all about hash code and equals method. If you have any concern or if you have any doubt, you can write it in comment section. I will try to answer it. I hope you like this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day and goodbye.